What's up guys, welcome to our channel. We are VRDGO and today we're gonna learn how to properly sidechain using an Ableton compressor. All right, so let's get into it. So I've got a loop here, a disco loop, and I'm just gonna play it back for you. So right now I don't have anything on there, so we're gonna start from scratch. And we're gonna use Ableton's compressor, so you're gonna come up to the left here and just click on compressor and drag it down. All right, so that's the first step. Okay, and so right here you see this triangle, you wanna click on this, it's gonna kick out to the right, and then just below that you're gonna see sidechain, so you wanna enable that. And then underneath you have audio from. And so this is gonna be your uh, audio source, the signal that's going to come through the compressor and trigger the sidechain, okay? So in this case, we haven't set one up yet, all right? So what I'm going to do up here is just highlight my kick channel, and I'm going to click Command-D to duplicate the channel, and then I'm going to turn the power off, all right? Now, what I've just done is I've created a ghost kick, all right? And we're going to use this as our sidechain signal. And I like to color it a different color just to make it stand out. So we'll just make it white. And Command-R, so you can rename it. And I'll just call it sidechain. Okay, and typically I like to just move that to the top, all right? So this is going to be your sidechain, and you're going to come back down to the loop and come right back down to where we were underneath sidechain where it says audio from. You just click that drop down arrow and then you're going to see sidechain at the top where we just put it. So click on that. All right. And then below this, you're going to see a drop down arrow. It says pre effects, post effects and post mixer. You just want to make sure that it's on post effects. Okay. And just leave it there. All right. Now the next thing, this is the most important thing I think is the uh, ratio attack and release settings. So you're just gonna come up to ratio and it's gonna be a 10 to one. All right, you're just gonna set it and forget it. For the attack, you're just gonna make this go all the way to the left, all right, a very fast attack and a fairly fast release. We're gonna make this 30 milliseconds and you're just gonna leave it like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is in a moment, I'm going to play the loop and I'm gonna start dragging this threshold down until we start to get some gain reduction here, okay? So let's, let's see what that sounds like. So you see, the more I drag this threshold down, the signal from the side chain is causing this loop to duck the kick every time the kick hits, all right? And so the more you pull this threshold down, the more of a pumping action you're gonna hear, all right? So you wanna set that just according to what your preference is, you know, whatever you're trying to accomplish in the mix, all right? Some people can turn this ratio all the way up to the right. You could just set it to infinity to one and that, that gives you a slightly different uh, pumping sound. Um, check this out. So it all just depends on what you're going for. Always a good thing to just play around with, but make sure that you do it while the rest of the mix is still playing. And that way you can get a sense of uh, what it's doing in the mix, okay? Moving on to the EQ section. So a lot of times people ignore this because they just simply don't really understand how it works or, or when to use it. You could definitely find this useful in certain situations. For example, if I turn the EQ on and I use this uh, filter envelope here to the bottom right corner, um, this is going to cause the side chain to basically duck everything below 200 hertz. And so that could be useful. You know, it could be great for vocals or, you know, whatever you could think of. So let's just get a sense and see what that sounds like. I'll put the thrush up all the way up and here we go. So you see, I could pull the threshold down pretty far and you could, you could hear it working on the lower frequencies of this loop, but you don't really hear anything going on on, um, up, on the upper end. So um, it's, it's pretty useful. It's very uh, interesting. And then if you click on this 
filter envelope here um, in the bottom middle. Um, this kind of has a very similar pumping action to what the compressor was doing uh, without this EQ setting on. Um, but uh, I'll give you a sense of how it sounds here. Check this out. And then what I'll do is I'll turn this EQ off and you can kind of compare the difference between the two. I mean, obviously the threshold is pretty down there. I usually don't like to set it that deep, maybe like around 29 or 30 or something. It's about the max I'll go. It just depends. But let's, uh, let's hear how that sounds. And I'm just you know dragging this threshold down quite a bit just to kind of exaggerate the effect so you can get a better understanding of, of what is happening, what it's doing. Okay. But that's basically it. You know, this is the best and most effective way to use your sidechain compressor in Ableton. I use it all the time. The only drawback is you can't freeze the channel. Um, and so in cases like that, you could use an LFO tool instead if you want to freeze channels. Um, but otherwise, I just use this all day and it works great to help the kick stand out and it helps it cut through the mix. Um, you, so yeah, play around with that. If you find any value in what you just learned, please subscribe to our channel and smash that like button for us. And if you've got any questions, make sure to leave those questions down below in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to uh, you guys as soon as we can. If you've got ideas on what other kinds of production tutorials you'd like us to make moving forward, please leave those in the comments as well. And uh, definitely follow us on all our socials. So you could find us if you search the hashtag VRDGO, but we're at Verdugo Brothers on Instagram and Facebook. And so follow us there and uh, we can't wait to hear from you guys and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.